Welcome back to our next lesson on building the handheld video game. In this lesson, we'll be inserting an assembly, that is, the circuit board. Let's begin by hiding the top housing so we can see the interior of our model. Now go to Insert, Component, Existing Part. Click on Browse. I've placed the circuit board assembly inside the circuit board folder. From Files of Type, select Assembly. And select the circuit board. Click Open. And let's drop it about here. Let's go to the Assembly tab now. Select the Mate tool. We'll select this point and this point. Make it a coincident mate with the Align Axes option checked. Click OK. Let's cancel out of the Mate tool now, and we'll bring back the top housing. Activate Section View. This gives us a good idea of how things will look inside. Hmm, I see a problem here. Let's zoom in to get a better look. The LCD display and the top cover intersect with each other. We can tell that it's one millimeter, but if you're not sure and you'll need to measure, you go to the Evaluate tab and activate the Measure tool. Select this edge, and then this edge. The callout displays the distance between the two selections, one millimeter. That means we've got a one millimeter interference here. Let's open the circuit board part document. Here it is. Click Open. Let's right click on Extrude 1 and edit. I'll make it 4.8 millimeters instead. Click OK. Let's save our part. Then we'll return to the assembly. Window, Assembly. Do we want to rebuild? Yes. And as you see, we've got a gap between the top housing and the LCD display. I've got a few words for a situation like this. Of course, we're able to resolve it in a few different ways. One option would be to bring the entire LCD assembly down. A second option could be to redesign the top cover here, and then to bring this face up a little bit. A third option, and what I did here, was to bring down the LCD display. I didn't change the actual design of the display. The extrude is only a representation of the LCD display, you remember. What I did was bring the LCD display closer to the PC board. This situation is going to depend upon external factors in reality. For example, the circuit board may have already been designed elsewhere and you may have no control over its shape. If that's the case, your options would be to bring down the entire PC board, or you would have to bring up this face here. Of course, developing a design workaround for a part that you're not able to modify at all is a situation that an engineer will often face. Let's return to our assembly. Everything else seems to be fine, so let's cancel out of section view. Now let's take a detailed look in Hidden Lines Visible mode. Go to Front View. Looks all right. Everything seems to be in place. And let's go back to Shaded with Edges mode. And let's hide the top housing. Right-click, Hide. Oops, let's try that again. Right click and hide component. Let's change the color of the circuit board components now. Right click, appearance. Let's go to LCD. Appearance. Let's make it bright green. OK. Now let's shift select all the buttons. Go to Edit, Appearance, and Appearance again. Let's make the buttons a light red color. And click OK. Now let's take an isometric view. And this concludes our tutorial about inserting the circuit board assembly.